sauces, we did soups, we did broccoli and cheese soup one time too. Uh, so tonight, what are we going to do, Chef? What's on the docket for tonight? I think today we're going to, do, to go to south of the border. South of the border? Yes, I think. Whole lie, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So what are we pulling up from south of the border? Okay, south of the border, okay, we're going to do a bean burritos with different layers, like four or five layers. Incredible. Huh, Emily? We're yes, going to see that, is. huh? This is one yes. of my favorites. Yes, this is our favorite. So I'm excited to just our last cooking class to finish awesome, with that awesome awesome yeah. awesome all right so as of course you know who have been viewing before uh chef larche is trained in france and specialties in vegetarian cuisine his understudy is emily graham emily are you busy these days we're wrapping up the school year all so right. that's exciting emily's <laughs> an elementary school teacher and so just about ready to hit summer break all right we are ready to do this so why don't you guys go ahead and start the preparation okay. and then i'll give a little okay. thought while that's, you, that's you know. that good okay Emily. so um we're going to use some soy curl you know about soy curl it's it's, it's a soy base and if you can find it uh you know where to find it we have a the nature's natural food store here at campo sabo and uh we sell those soy curl it's incredible you have like a good texture Mm -hmm. You tried before, don't mm -hmm. you? Yeah, it's chewy texture. It's like a, almost a fake chicken, but a good one. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> we're going to take a cup of this first. We're going to put it in hot water. Okay, it would take about uh, on the recipe, you have three cup of water uh, for this. Two cup or three cup is fine. Uh, make sure it's a, 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 it's a little bit more, just a little bit. More. <laughs> Half a <laughs> cup. Yeah. Okay, I have a nice cup. Okay, so uh, the reason why I'm going to let it there soak for about. 10 minutes okay just to hydrate it back again and it's nice to cover it or just put it on a, a warmer close close by there so we can do that okay this is like a grill at home you can put it uh put foil on top and then after this what you can do is just uh um put in a warm place okay okay so that's good in the meantime also we so we're going to start with uh bell pepper mm -hmm. uh, and we're going to um make some julienne so basically just take a little bit of it we don't need a lot and yes yeah, so you can use different colors and okay. we're going to slice it and this and then we're going to saute this the reason why so we have um some some crunch also some chewiness into uh some crunch and flavors mm. in the bean, in the bean burritos okay so this is one of the layers also okay. and uh, as we do this i will show them also uh, we have uh, vegetarian refried beans. You can make your own refried beans. And uh, next one cooking class, I will show you how to do it. But I know so many times we don't have time yeah. to do this. Right. So therefore, uh, you can find the best vegetarian beans we can find. Mm -hmm. And it's very little ingredient in it. And so, and this is what we're going to use. Okay. okay. So, and, and then we're going to flavor it because we, uh, some, some of the, some of those things, some of the, um, uh, with five beans, mm -hmm. the flavor is not that intense for me. <laughs> I right. think I need I need some flavor to it. So I have some here. So we're going to uh, okay some of the refried beans. Get a little um, too firm actually. We're going to put some water in it. Okay. And uh, and then uh, uh, actually put it on the skillet with some flavor. Okay. Mm, um, that's good. Okay. So let's do this now. Let's let's uh, okay for uh, what we're going to do while you are listening. Uh, the next presentations we are going to flavor this with a little bit of uh, smoked paprika and cumin okay okay so and we're going to put it uh, on the skillet just to bring back the flavor and and that's about it and then we come back to you sound good yeah okay while they're doing a little bit of preparation work i'll just give you a little spiritual nuggets um, one of the things we talked about last time was the importance of temperance. Uh, we talked about in 2 Peter chapter 1 where Peter talked about through these exceeding great and precious promises that God gives us to give the grace that we need, we are to add, as it were, this vertical ladder that goes from earth to heaven. Add the first rung is faith. So we want to grow in our faith, which comes from reading the Word of God. And then we grow in virtue. Uh, we also grow in knowledge, like Peter said, Growing grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Uh, after you grow in knowledge, then comes temperance, or also it's called self-control. And we're talking about temperance again tonight. Uh, so, but it's kind of interesting because there's growth beyond temperance. The next level up uh, after temperance is patience. So it's hard to be patient if you're intemperate. So temperance helps us in that regard. Godliness. Uh, brotherly kindness and agape love, unconditional love. All those things are upriver of temperance, so temperance becomes very important. 
So we'll talk about that a little bit. And um, one of the things I want to point out is John 10, 10, Jesus said, I've come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. So when we look at the choices related to food and exercise and lifestyle, we have to ask ourselves the question, is this helping us to have the more abundant life Jesus offers us? Or are there things that are not helping us in that direction we need to stay away from? We'll look at that as we look at food choices tonight. Uh, 2 John chapter 1, 4, I wish above all things that you may prosper and be in health, even as your soul prospers. So God wants us to have good physical health, but he wants the spiritual health to be there too. So we're going to look at that a little bit. Uh, 1 Corinthians, we're talking where Paul says, Whatever you eat, drink. Our body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Whatever you eat or drink or do, do all to the glory of God. So we want to glorify God. So we have to ask ourselves some questions. If I do this, will that glorify God if I do that? And we're going to apply that when we come back. And we're going to kick it right back over here to Chef and Emily. Um, and we'll apply those principles as they're cooking the food. But right now they're going to present to us uh, how to lay out the recipe. So, all right, Chef, back to you and Emily. Okay, so uh, what's this, what are you doing there right now, Emily? So I've just put the water if in. If you Actually, can bring the camera a little closer. Yes. So we put a little bit of oil in the pan, obviously, and then um, added yes. some water. Yes, okay, and the refried beans. So and, and then what you're going to do is uh, we're going to add a uh, little bit of cumin okay. into the refried beans and it's optional maybe your refried beans already well seasoned already so but i just like to add a little bit of more flavor to it okay. um so i have a little bit of smoked paprika and go ahead you can put your uh, your cumin a little bit of cumin How much? yeah yeah just, just like, like that. that about a teaspoon of each okay. uh for this okay thanks yes and let's bring it back. And you want it a little bit, not as firm. Okay, she adds some water. Okay, so what do you think, Emily? I mean, you, you like you the consistency or you want it a little bit? I mean, maybe a little bit more water. Let's I don't see. know. Okay. I, I don't want it to get too runny. Yeah, it's so, pretty good right so now. It's, okay, she feels it's good. If it's good for her, it's good for me. <laughs> okay, so. As long as I don't burn it. Okay, sounds good. I think it's, I think it's fine now. Okay. okay, all right, cool. Show, 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 show to the audience oh, there. Like okay. <laughs> so this is the uh, uh, the refried beans. So we're going to put it aside, and then in the meantime, so now the next steps we're going to to do is uh, let's go ahead and do um, uh, the bell pepper and the onion. So I have onions also. So I have some onion slices, and I have the red bell pepper just for color. So when you cut. Uh, this thing presentation is good when you, you when you eat your eyes also so let's put it there okay, uh, let's put some olive oil first here okay. okay and the way i like to cook i like to have all every ingredient every preparation beautiful and flavored and everything mm -hmm. so refined beans is well done and uh, this will be sorted nicely then we have a soaker well seasoned so when you combine everything it's like mm -hmm. <laughs> you don't there is no chance it's not good, okay? Yeah. Okay, so go ahead, put everything in inside. Okay. And I hope you all have everything there and you cook with us. I do hope that you bought thing, the thing in advance and uh, you are with us in the in your kitchen, in the privacy of, of your home and cooking with us. And uh put some also salt American music if you want to and uh, <laughs> enjoy enjoy the, the experience cooking is fun cooking is uh, I mean the cooking is fun you don't have yeah. to be stressed and everything and yeah. you know uh, we can laugh you can taste in your food uh, um, I can taste in your food the laugh everything and uh, the, the happiness to it okay so yeah. okay so here um, just yeah go ahead like this is perfect so that it okay. is so pretty yes and uh, this is what Emily have soaked this <coughs> And you see the um, from this, the crunchiness now is really soft and nice. It's ready to be used. Okay, uh, it's about uh, eight minute pass already, and it's already, uh, if you can see, um, it's really soft already. You see that, Emily? Yeah. Okay. So. That's great. Okay. Uh, we're going to use it then. Okay. Okay. okay go ahead. You can. You can put it. There. Drain it out there. Yeah, you can drain all. Okay. And as you drain it, make sure you take. Uh, all the moisture as possible uh -huh. you can put it back here okay. uh, but yes okay and uh, squeeze it well 
With my hands? Yes, with Ooh, your hands. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes, we, hey, we cook with our hands, you know. <laughs> this is this is the fun part of it. Especially when you make like a dough and everything and, a cream, and you just knead those things there. Yes, perfect. Uh, That's awesome. Yeah. Okay. The reason why I want to take the extra water because we're going to season it and uh, so it okay. we need to absorb any other flavor. See, so you have water in it, you mm -hmm. won't be able to absorb any other flavor. Okay? Right, okay. Okay, so. Very good. Okay. Uh, so let's find out the skillet and this one we can use this one here we use a lot of skillet today whoa mm. look at this it's so, it's so beautiful smells the colors. So good. yeah let me yeah. show them okay. so this is it what you have there it's a blend of onions red pepper and bell pepper okay that's it all right so uh now let's uh solder the soil curl okay so you need according just follow this recipe there okay so um let's put in the skillet this is uh, the largest skillet i have so <laughs> let's use that i put this already on the fire for you okay so you can go ahead with some uh, olive oil first a little bit of olive oil oh. about a tablespoon in this little one yes in oh, this sorry. little one okay. yes okay right. okay and uh, then you can go ahead and put um the cumin uh, okay. Let's put the soy curl first. Go ahead, put the soy curl in. No, okay. Yes, inside of it. All right. Okay, let me give you something for it. Uh, what can we find? <laughs> okay. Well, this work. Ah, I have a better one here. All okay. Right. Okay, so that's good. Thank you. Awesome. Let me take this okay. for you. Then. Uh, yes, yes. Now we can put uh, put the half a teaspoon of cumin here. Oh. Okay. This is a sweet for. So half of this, I guess, half a teaspoon of cumin yeah, and half a teaspoon here. of... Here's one. Okay. Oh no, that's a tablespoon. Okay. Let me find one for it's you. It's good, it's good. It's I good? Can you can? can? Okay. Yeah, half okay. a teaspoon of cumin and... Uh, yes. Yeah, go it. ahead. You can put a little I bit more. It. Yeah, <laughs> I love cumin. <laughs> okay, okay, that's good. <laughs> okay, so uh, the rest, onion powder, garlic powder, about okay. a quarter of a teaspoon of each. Yeah. Okay. Onion powder and garlic powder. So quarter of a teaspoon. Oh, what do we? Uh, that's three fourths. You can take. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's fine. You can do okay. one teaspoon. And yeah, a quarter. It's fine. <laughs> if it does a little bit more, it's not a problem. Yeah, uh, it's you cook according to 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 your I palate. To you know, for me, half yeah. a teaspoon was fine. But if for you, you like cumin more than me, so you can put a whole teaspoon. Uh, <laughs> and I don't think we kill anything. Okay, <laughs> so. The next things you want to add. Okay. Uh, what else? The garlic powder, onion powder. You put those two. Yeah. Okay. Those are now good. I have some bragaminos. Bragaminos are uh, it's like soy sauce, mm -hmm. but it's low in sodium. And for me, actually, it's way more flavor than and than soy sauce. Okay. So the bragaminos you can find it also are the nutritious gal the nutritious in uh your campo sabo. Otherwise, any uh, if you it's too far for you in your food store, you can you can find that. Okay, so let's lower the temperature we just a little bit. Okay, yeah. I was gonna okay, say go ahead. Put the soy sauce. The soy sauce okay. will bring some uh, water content, so that will help. Perfect. Okay, go ahead. Put a tablespoon, or just go ahead like this. I have a tablespoon here if you want, Emily. Okay, that's yeah. good. That's oh, good. okay. Whoa, that's she's good. going. I know, I know. That's I'm good. sorry, it's too much. I love it. I love it. You're doing the <laughs> right <laughs> things. You're doing the right thing. Okay, th then we're okay. going to put some nutritional yeast flakes. Okay. Uh, the nutritional yeast flakes is optional, but for me, it's like, uh, how many do we need? A tablespoon. It just brings extra flavor. I mean, it's it is. just bring like the broth aspect oh, of good. the... Uh, um, and it's, it's full of vitamin B also. Okay, okay. Bueno. so... Muy bueno, muy bueno. Yes, si, senorita. <laughs> yes. Okay. 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 So, so, okay. So, now you want to taste it. You don't want to be surprised if, for everything. <laughs> uh, I think this is ready. We don't want to burn it. Okay, this is ready. This is beautiful. So, we, we stop this. Yeah. Okay. So, so far, Emily, so what we have ready so okay. far? Okay. What we have ready so far? Can so you tell me? So, beans, and okay. then we have the roasted veggies okay. and the soy curls. And then soy curl, yes. Yeah. Okay, yeah. uh, do you want to taste it? I have a spoon yeah. for you. Let's try it. And uh, let us know if we... Uh, okay, I have a spoon here. Yes. Okay. Okay, go ahead and try it. Okay. Ah. Just the soy curls, yeah? Yes. Okay. Right. Mm. I, mean, I like it. You want to try it? 
Yeah. Uh, it, does That's it mean right. like a little bit of heat? I like. I like. Do you like heat, guys? A little bit of cayenne goes a long way. You know, it's like. Yeah. 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 And Emily, yeah. huh? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Put as much you want. <laughs> no. <laughs> if okay. it's me, I will put too much, so I had to give it to you to do. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, how much did you? Would you put? It's fine. It, yeah, like it's good. Okay. Okay. That sounds good to me. Okay. okay. So, and uh, we can put also some cilantro, or we can add mm. a cilantro on top of the in inside of it mm -hmm. on the burrito. So, you, and we can put it also in this. Mm -hmm. It's up to you. Okay. You want to mix it also, or okay. Mm -hmm. So, so okay. Poquito, just a in poquito. Bit in, okay. In there as well. Okay. S Where do you put it in here? Or in yes, here? we can put it in the soy curl. Oh, okay. Just a little bit, and then we can add some uh, as we make the burrito sauce. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, yeah. just a little pinch of that, okay. just like that. Okay. Okay. Let, do you want me to taste it also? Yeah. Okay. Oh man, that smells so good. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Whoa, okay. <laughs> man, she's getting good. <laughs> no, Emily, that's incredible. I love it. Okay, so we can put this aside. Okay. Uh, you can turn off this now. Okay. So. The brown rice also, we have the brown rice also, so it's ready, actually. I have cooked brown rice already, okay? Oh, so okay, hopefully cool. you have cooked brown rice also, uh, because the recipe asks for cooked brown, brown rice, so my, my hope that everyone already have some, already cook. So uh, we done, uh, actually, we done all the preparations. So we have so far um, the brown rice, we have the soy curl, mm -hmm. and, uh, and we have the... Um, the veggies and also also the refined beans so also we can use oh uh, there's something also you can use yeah. and when we make the burritos we mm -hmm. can put some some uh, the veginase oh. okay you can put some veginase and okay. uh, we, we have some salsa we're going to put in and have my famous people die for the <laughs> key lime sauce okay if you want to okay. find key lime sauce you uh, or uh, it's a lime sauce um the only place you can find it is where at the camp store? At the camp at the store. Yes. Yes. It's, it's, uh, you can find it anywhere else. So please uh, call us. Maybe we can send it to you. I don't know. But uh, yes, it is It is yeah. great. Huh? You like so it? It's so good. Like on yeah. anything. On anything. I mean, on pizza, pasta, anything. Yeah. And, and this for the burritos is perfect ingredient. Mm -hmm. Okay. A, a lime sauce is perfect ingredient. So. Um, Do you use sour cream? Yeah, the sour cream. cream. You can use sour cream also. Um, you can use vision is all sour cream. You can do both also if you like. Okay, it's just to give this uh, this richness to it also. Okay, uh, so uh, I think we're done. We will we will put it put everything together after uh, the health lecture. Okay, yeah, after the health lecture. Okay. Any other questions? Do you have any questions? Uh, otherwise, is is good. Uh, oh, okay, okay, so hopefully you guys have everything ready. Hopefully that you are in the same place. I know we went a little bit fast. It was easy. It's an easy one having the cooked rice already. Um, the, you see how long it take? It didn't take a long time no, to make no. uh, this, this soy curl. This it didn't take awesome. 10 minutes after and season it. It's quick. Mm -hmm. uh, just follow the recipe and you have a, a great experience. Okay, And I do hope... Um, that you are cooking with us. Let, and send us pictures also. Let us know um, your experience. Some of you send pictures, and I, I like this. Send, send us pictures and let us know how, how you felt and everything through this experience of cooking with us. All right, I can't wait to get the, the end product when they get through cooking all that stuff. But I want to talk to you a little bit about, again, applying those principles about whatever you eat, drink, and do, do all the glory of God. So let's take a look at uh, cancer. And, uh, and how we do things through eating. 500,000 cancer deaths in the United States per year. Uh, so what are the ones contributing factors to cancer? Well, tobacco is responsible for one-third of all cancers. So if you just eliminate tobacco out of your lifestyle, wow, that's one-third less cancers. Diet and physical inactivity really are responsible for the other third. So if you can start to improve, increase your activity, and make better choices in your food, you can eliminate two-thirds of the risk of cancer right off the bat. And that's a great start. So what are your odds of getting cancer during your lifetime? You can see all these different kinds of cancers and what your risks are for men and women of getting them. But I'll just hit the summary button on the bottom where it talks about men, one in two, will get cancer during their lifetime. One in two. 
women, one in three. So you can see that cancer is going to be a very prevalent risk that we face, and we can make some great choices to minimize that risk. What are the uh, five most modifiable cancer risks according to the American Cancer Society and according to this journal, Cancer uh, Journal of Can Clinical Cancer? Um, one, we already talked about, do not smoke. You know, if you smoke, stop. You say, well, how can I quit? It's more addictive um, than cocaine and many other drugs. Well, there's three texts in the Bible that I think of. God, Jesus said, um, Paul writes, but thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. If you want victory, say, Lord, I want victory over smoking. Can you help me? I'm talking about vaporizing as well. I'm talking about also uh, smoking marijuana, any of those kinds of things. So thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Put your faith in him. Secondly, make no provisions for the flesh. So if you got any of that paraphernalia, go and throw it away in a place that you'll never be able to get it back from. Flush it down the toilet. Whatever it is, get rid of all of it to make no provisions for the flesh, and then you won't be tempted because it won't be in your house, your car, or your purse, or anywhere else. Thirdly, you want to um, reckon yourself dead to sin, right? So I'm no longer living for myself, but I'm living for Christ lives in me. In the life I live, I live by faith in the Son of God who loves me and gave himself for me. So with that, you can get victory over smoking. Um, secondly, maintain a healthy weight. This is really important. If you maintain a healthy weight, you're going to minimize the risk of cancer, and we'll see in just a minute. Consume a healthy diet with an emphasis on plant sources. Eat five or more fruits and vegetables daily. Choose whole grains in place of refined grains. Limit your consumption of the other things, such as uh, meats, if you do that. Limit it, and limit the size and the frequency. Number four, get regular physical activity. An hour is basically a minimum. Kids really ought to get two hours, is what more research is saying beyond what you're seeing here. Uh, so put it in your schedule, your life schedule of uh, your time that you're going to get out and get some walking exercise, swimming, or, or other options that are, are available. And the fifth one, it says, if you drink alcoholic beverages, limit its consumption. That's their recommendation. My recommendation is you eliminate all together. It's empty calories. And uh, I just remember one study that said that over 50 of the people that are 50% that are in jails are there who were committing crimes under the influence of alcohol. When I was in Montana, 70% uh, of car accidents, either one or the other or both drivers were under the influence of alcohol. Getting rid of it is not going to be a curse to you. It's going to be a blessing. So the American Cancer Society says their first goal is get a healthy weight. That is absolutely important. Why is that? Because overweight and obesity contribute to 14 to 20 percent of all cancer-related mortality. If you want to reduce, reduce your risk of dying by 14 to 20 percent, pretty simple then. Just work on getting your body weight down to what is within the healthy guidelines for your height. So clearly associated with cancers, for being overweight, overweight and obese are breast in postmenopausal women, colon, endometrium, esophagus, and a kidney, and there's a whole other uh, layer of associated cancers. Healthy weights, you can read that. I'm going to skip right past that. We're going to move right on to the next. Adapt, and secondly, adopt a physically active lifestyle. Again, 60 minutes is kind of like a standard minimum. Five days a week is what we're looking at here. And by doing that, you reduce, once again, these cancers, breast, colon, prostate, endometrial cancers, they are reduced, but it does more than that. For example, insulin, it helps to be regulated by exercise. If you, after you eat, get up, go for a five-minute walk, eight-minute walk, it's going to help to regulate your um, blood sugar level, and you're not going to need as much insulin. So activity really helps regulate the hormones and all the rest, strengthens your immune system as well. Of course, if you are 40 years or older as a man or 50 years older or a woman, you might want to see a doctor before you get too aggressive in your exercise program. Number three, a healthy diet. Uh, choose foods and beverages. Basically, the long and the short of it is it's best to just drink water. Once in a while, you can have 100% whole juices. Um, so the rest of it, I just stay away from. Uh, then when it comes down to foods, stay with the fruit, grains, nuts, vegetables variety. Uh, if you are not a vegetarian, you might occasionally have uh, something else, but it's best to limit that, and that was going to help you a lot to reduce your risk of different kinds of cancer. So that's kind of the summarization that I just gave you there.
So there's some, uh, some other benefits. Eating more fruits and vegetables is linked to fewer cancers of all of these that are mentioned. Because of the vitamins, the minerals, and the fiber, you can see down there, they all help to prevent cancer. All those flavonoids, all those uh, phytochemicals that are in the fruits, grains, and vegetables, they really help uh, reduce cancer risk. So whole grains, same thing. What about processed and red meats? Well, the problem is that uh, they contain several risk factors for cancer. First, mutagens and carcinogens produced by cooking meat at high temperatures and by charcoal grilling. Oh, there we are. Summer's just on the horizon. Most of you are probably ready to pull out the grill and put some meat on the grill and grill it and eat it. But honestly, when you think of the dozens and sometimes over 100 different kinds of cancer-causing chemicals that come up from the wood that's the hot wood and the, the blood that's in the meat, it is an increased risk of cancer for sure. It's one thing you can do is get rid of the grill or cook it on the stove, but stay away from the grill because all those chemicals from the fire uh, increase your risk. Iron in red meat that generates free radicals in the colon, it damages your DNA and so forth. So limit processed and red meats, completely eliminate if you can. There are healthier choices. Soy, tofu, veggie burgers, nuts, and other meat alternatives uh, are very helpful. What about alcoholic beverages? Alcohol is established a uh, cause of cancer of the mouth, the pharynx, and the larynx. The esophagus, liver, breast, and colon. I just remember this one guy, 40 years old, uh, he had esophageal cancer. And uh, sometimes when he would cough, he would vomit up buckets of blood. And his doctor said, if you don't quit drinking, it's just eating the lining off the back of your throat, you're going to die. And here's this guy, he had a young family. Uh, so stay away from alcoholic beverages. If you drink alcohol beverages, limit the consumption. I say just eliminate it completely. So breast cancer is linked with alcohol and heart disease is also. We'll pass right over that. So the best advice to prevent these different kinds of cancers, you can see the list of cancers there is. Uh, don't smoke, drink more fluids, especially water, eat more vegetables, and you'll be better off. So there are several different kinds of cancers, and we're going to go right through them. Colorectal, breast cancer, we talked about that, endometrial cancer, prevention. They all have the similar kind of advice, kidney cancer prevention, lung cancer prevention, <coughs> pancreatic cancer. By the way, that's the worst cancer in my opinion. <coughs> it causes more pain when people are dying than anything else I've ever seen. You do not want that kind of cancer. <coughs> Prostate cancer. All of these stomach cancer are, can be summarized in this closing statement. <coughs> Maintain a healthy weight. Very important. Secondly, be physically active daily. Daily. Choose healthy foods with an emphasis on whole plant foods. Avoid or limit in intake of alcohol. Don't smoke. Get regular preventive exams. And it has a list of women's kind of exams for them, men, the kind of exams for them. All right, so with that, let's go back to our cooking demonstration over here. And they probably got it all ready for us. So back to Chef and Emily. <laughs> Hola, Emily. <laughs> Okay, so let's recapitulate what we did here before we start again, before we continue. So we had a soy curl. How long did it take to do the soy curl? Five minutes. Five minutes, yes. Yeah, so what we put in the soy curl? Um, after we soaked it, we added some oil and we put in cumin and Uh-huh. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. And some, I, and some wax and uh, some nutritional nutritional yeast flakes. And and this is what we have. Okay. So that's the soy curl. Okay. And also the refined beans. The reason why we uh, we did the uh, even the refined beans was ready, but we want to warm it up and also bring extra flavor. Mm -hmm. So what we did for that. So um, we put some cumin. Cumin and, and some smoked paprika. You can put anything you like, garlic powder, onion powder, if you want to, or just leave it like this, plain if you want to. And this also, so another layer. So we see one, two, three, three layers, and also all the flavors going with this also. And we sauté some some uh, bell pepper. That was quite easy, huh? Yeah. 
in a few how long it takes us to do this like just like less than 30, 20 minutes uh, yes yeah that's yeah that, it's like i feel like we should have done something else <laughs> Oh, you're the last ready. <laughs> yeah, yes. I, actually, um, yeah, because they have to cook the rice, so that will take some time also, right. and all those things. It's not, it's not just like, yeah. It's you can use a rice cooker. No yeah, you can a rice cooker. Yes, you can. Yes, of course. Yes, yes. So, uh, the next steps. What we're going to do. So, okay. So, uh, we have some whole wheat tortillas right now. So, whole wheat tortillas. And so, we're going to put first the layer here. Okay, so. So we want to um, put it qu not quite in the middle, but like a uh, yeah. Um, just oh make sure God. this is the way you're going. Okay, this like oh this. <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay. No, but that's fine. You're good. You're good. Okay. Okay. So a nice spoon of it. It's about a quarter, half a half a cup, something like this. Okay. Just like that. <laughs> I like y'all. This is out. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Then the next things. Uh, you the next thing is doesn't have to be in in the order that I'm going to put it, but you can just take your hand and just put it like this, okay? Just okay. a little bit of soy curl, mm. just like that. That's so beautiful. Mm -hmm. Then after this, you can add your bell pepper or the rice first. You can put a little bit of rice, about half a uh, quarter of a cup, something like this, okay? okay. Mm. We're going to have enough to make another bread, so I think. Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay, That's so awesome. um, let's put some bell pepper. Okay. Yes, go ahead. Oh, yeah. This, yeah, oh. go ahead. Take okay. take yours. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. Okay. I shouldn't take it. Okay, oh, something like this. That's better. Okay, <laughs> beautiful. You don't have to put too much. Yeah, that's yeah. great. Okay. Yeah, it's great there like this. Okay, now a little bit of cilantro. We chop some cilantro. I mean, chop some cilantro there. So we're going to put a little bit there. Mm. You see all those layers of flavor already. So and uh, good. next will be. Que rico. I hope you can see that well. Can you see? Bring the camera closer. I want them to to have all this, all this beauty and to see everything <laughs> well. Okay. It's like a so rainbow. Yes. Uh, okay. Now we're going to put a little bit of salsa there. Look at that. Okay. Go ahead. Do you have a recipe for homemade salsa? Yes, uh, we are, I will oh, have to. Po I will have to post it. Yeah, we otherwise we can do it. Yeah, uh, we can. And no, we can do awesome. a pickle the guy you also put it on that. Oh, that would yeah. be excellent. Yes. Oh, yeah. uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. So uh, sour cream. Okay. Here. Okay. You. Thank you. Just Today just a flash of it, not too much. You don't want to make it too rich, but yeah, <laughs> just like that. Okay. okay? And then we can add, and if you don't want sour cream, you can put some veginess. Literally, I do. I did veginess also, mm -hmm. and it's like people really like it more than sour cream. Okay. I think. Yeah, so you can it. try if you okay. want. Okay. Yes. Okay. Maybe you want to try some also. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try <laughs> everything. <laughs> Why not? This is like hey, this is my burrito. I do the way I want it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. So now. The next thing we're going to put some the key lime salt. It's optional of your, of course. The lime salt is optional uh, because you don't have it anyway, so <laughs> it's an option. But it, it, your burritos will be excellent without it. I promise, it will be excellent without yes. it. Wow. Okay, okay. So now this is this is the part. You, now this is the layers. Um, do you see the? P can you see everybody? Can you see well? Okay, is it very okay? Now mm, we want to yes, fold these things like this first. Oh. Okay. Okay. Like a, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> so this is what I <laughs> <laughs> Okay. And bring bring this here. Okay. Just like that. You see? Uh-huh. It needs to be inside. So yeah, is go it inside? In, in yeah, but all the way all the way in. What needs to oh. Okay, this this like this, the yeah. hat. Inside okay? The hat. Yeah. It's a hat. <laughs> okay, so okay. and you you what you push it, you pull it, okay? And it'll be like this. You can tell I never worked at Taco Bell. This is amazing. <laughs> but this is beautiful. This is really well, good. Oh, this is incredible. Wow. <laughs> yes. And uh, that's it. Uh, let's do another one. I've Why don't we do another one? so pretty. It's never going to, it's not going to fall out. <laughs> no, you no. Know, this is like well protected and <laughs> it's like it's, it's ready to be, have a good bite in it. Okay. Uh, okay. We're going to do another one. Okay. Okay. Um, let me take uno a mas. plate. Yeah. Uno mas. Okay. Let's see it. 
I'm sorry, Mini. Okay, okay. Just step on her feet. <laughs> sorry. Okay, so, okay, so now, uh, yes, let's do another one for the fun of it. And for them to see the, again, in case, uh, you can review it again and again until you know what we do. Okay, so, go ahead, do what as you whatever. please, okay? okay? Whatever you please, okay? I'm going to start with, put some nice there on top. Oh, I'll leave a little bit for you. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> So go. cool. I mm. hope you have fun like we had. It's like it smells good in this kitchen. I have fun with my with Emily, my student. Uh, it's just like a, it's beautiful outside. It's what a day. This is incredible. This yes. is a time uh, for this 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 kind of meal. It's, it's very comforting. It's it's uh, mm -hmm. I, I like I like South American food, Emily. I really do. Mm -hmm. Yes, I. Me yeah. too. Okay. Too. One day we do empanada, huh? What about that? You know empanada? Empanadas? Yes. Oh. Oh wow! Yeah, we should make empanadas. Yes. Oh, and arepas so and empanadas. Wow. <laughs> yes. Man, oh, I forgot, uh, I forgot. I uh, forgot. I forgot the, the bell peppers. pepper. Oh, I forgot the salsa. Okay. Yes. Okay. Wow. You put a cilantro, a bit of cilantro. You have everything. Mm -hmm. Forget the cilantro. Okay, I put a little bit of this, a little bit of this, just that. Right. Okay, now uh, did I have everything? I feel I forgot something. Okay, the salsa. Okay. <laughs> okay, go ahead. All right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Emily in actions, yes. <laughs> okay, make sure, make sure this is like really inside close. and go all the way there. Okay. Oh, and, and oh past it. it. Yes, oh, past it. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. When you do yours. <laughs> awesome! Hey, it looks okay. better. Yes. It's getting better. Okay, and I'll do mine now. Okay. Tuck it in. Oh. Okay, like that. Okay. And voila, c'est joli. <laughs> <laughs> bon appetit. And now let's cut it. I want, I'm curious to see what is inside. I know what is inside, but how do it look from when you cut it? <laughs> this is wet. Let me take okay. another cutting oh. board here. Okay. Very good. You want to cut it immediately? Yeah, I cut it. Yeah, sure. Okay. So how did you say? Oh, bon, bon appetit, right? Bon appetit, okay. oui. So in, in Puerto Rico, they would say bon appetit. Buen, buen provecho. Ah, bon provecho. Bon okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I have another cutting board. You can use this one. Oh, I can Ooh. do mine. Okay, yes. cool. Try okay, it. so Should I like to cut it like uh, in diagonal. Okay. Okay. Just That's like fancy. yeah, the fancy part. Oh, it's like a wrap. And look at this, what's inside. Wow. Oh, so beautiful. Incredible. <laughs> incroyable, incroyable. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Mean? Incroyable means incredible. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> let, let, I have some guacamole. Like <laughs> let me see. Let's see. Mm. Oh, your color is beautiful, it so is. bright. And now I have we have something like some salsa, some blue chips, tortilla. This blue chip come from this. This is incredible. I really like it. Do you remember mm -hmm. that we ate this? Yeah. Yeah, it's very my good. Oh, this is incredible. And some uh, guacamole there. And uh, we're going to put one of each there, just like that. What about this? This is so beautiful. <laughs> mm. And you have it, guys. Uh, this is and now the last. Oh, incredible. Incredible. <laughs> so this is it. We, you have it. And uh, this is the bean burritos uh, with four layers. Four layers bu bean burritos. I believe it's four layers. Yes. Anyway, I make a four layers. There is not. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was four layers. That's true. And so uh, it's very simple. It was not difficult to do. It took us like less than 30 minutes, yeah, 40 minutes or something like this. It's great to make on a and, and so if, if you are yeah. like in a hurry, mm -hmm. You have some rice. We happen to have some rice there already. Mm -hmm. The soy curl just, uh, if you have some soy curl, they happen to have those things. Just mm -hmm. the kids will love it. Bean burritos, they will enjoy that. Isn't yeah. it? Yes. So, um, well, we're going to taste it soon. But I don't know if, uh, <laughs> let's see if we have uh, the last remark here. All right. So just some reminders that as we wrap up today and wrap up our first season, we, we forgot to get any party stuff here to celebrate. We should have celebrated at the end of the first season. <laughs> yes. We survived. So yes. well, hopefully you survived too. <laughs> but uh, we're coming back. We're coming back September yeah. 7 at uh, 6.30 p.m. So that's on a Tuesday. So that's the first Tuesday of September. So yeah. enjoy your summer off. 
Uh, also, just check out our website. Uh, one, his store information will be on the website. Uh, the recipe will be there in case you're just catching it now and you didn't, have, you didn't notice it before. The recipes will be there. Uh, secondly, just go and check. There's a donate button. If everybody were just to give one or two dollars, that would cover our cost of the food that we do and it would also cover our web presence. So that's not much, doesn't cost much. So if you want to just give it one or two dollars, that will help us and we'll be able to keep on keeping on. So, all right, uh, I'm looking at this food and I'm saying, hey, let's uh, taste this food. So, yes, that's uh, <laughs> and we, we taste it as you can, and I would love for you to, to, to see and to, to see our experience at the same time. Okay, so let, let's, uh, let's start find some plate here. Oh, let's see. What is green? It, it, it goes well. That's okay. good. So, okay, let's let's take one here. Okay, Emily, you have the first bite. Okay. Let's do that. Yeah. Now take a bite also. Let me take the fork. So when you do this at home and you taste it, just uh, kick back some information. Give us a star rating of one out, one out of five. Five is like, you really love thing. this. Fantastic. <laughs> uh, give us some feedback. What did you enjoy most? Uh, what are things you thought? We may have, if they had just added that, that would have taken them to the next level. Mm. We're open for suggestions. And if you have some mm. food recipes or ideas in the back of your mind, I would love you guys to demonstrate mm. this. Mm -hmm. Just send us a text or an email. We would love that information. Mm. Good. It's delicious. <laughs> and also, w one other thing I do sometimes, Mimi, mm -hmm. I put it in a hot skillet and I just um, toast mm. it left and right of everything. Mm -hmm. To it grill it? To grill it. It just brings mm. so much great flavor also. So you can do that also, okay? okay. Yeah. Cool. Okay. We're done? We're so, eat better, live well. Take care. Take care. Hasta and hasta luego. luego. <laughs>